happen. Welcome back to the MVSSEA Grand Finals for Cruise of 2019. This is our first Smash Ultimate uh, Cruise Finals, so there's a lot to look forward to here. After the uh, after the winner wins this, of course, uh, they get to face off against the Smash 4 Cruise winners, which is Burnaby Mountain. From last year, yeah. Yeah. They're a very strong team. It'll be an exhibitional, so there will be nothing on the line. But, you know, I'm excited to see that happen. To see how much the improvement has happened. I don't know who would win that. I don't know who would win this one. They look very even right now. Yeah, um, obviously, Alpha, uh, they won last year. Uh, so, it looks like they have the advantage, but... You know, Burn Creek just coming out of the water swinging. We don't really know what they're going to do. Uh, they have a lot of new players, uh, especially Avery, who never played Smash 4. And J1, like, he did play a bit of Smash 4, but... Actually, no, I think Avery did play Smash 4. But J1, like, I remember when he was still a B-teamer who wasn't sure what he was doing in the game. But now he's just, like, doing stuff to, like, Kaz, even. Kaz being a very prolific Yoshi. Constantly at weekly tournaments, re refurbishing his skills as the dinosaur. Yep. Oh, I like you see, it's it, just like back and forth between the two teams. Down here. Oh, of course. Good catch on the air dodge. Yep. It was an unfortunate situation because that's the only way he could have recovered. So the first stock actually ends up going to J1, showing his improvement. Up there. And the up till up there. Yep. All right. It's looking very even for these two right now. Kaz is slightly behind on the percent, but 14% is like nothing. It's inconsequential. Alright. J1 just playing the Lucy in the game. Not letting Yoshi's in your face style get close. And. Alright, J1. Oh, almost. Okay, that was a good back here. Up tilt, up air. Good air dodge. That was a good conversion from uh, Kaz. And right now they're just like going back and forth to neutral, holding shield. Sees the down air, hold shield. That's a very good option. Didn't end up doing any shield damage though. All right, shield breaker, no punish. It's key to note that both players tend to be playing very patiently. And they're trying to force the other person to approach them. Yeah. And neither one really wants to start the first assault. So this is. Very well played by both uh, players right now. This is why the game is really close right now. Yeah. J1. Look, they're just going back and forth, going backwards. A hit after another, defensive option, not letting any hits get in. And it's very even again. Almost gets the forward here. Shield breaker, that was random. Oh, egg? Alright, how's he get? Very good get up option. Alright, stabs Yoshi. Alright, quick recovery. Alright, no read on the attack chase or whatever. Chasing for it? Yeah. Alright, they're just like throwing out hitboxes right now. And it's not working for either of them. I, or maybe it is. They're going right now. Alright. There's no punish. It's still 11 11. Okay. okay. The down B finish. Did nice. not see that one coming. Very good kill option for Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi's killed. at kill percent though. It could be like a reversal. But Very it's a heavy. Soon. He'll live for a bit. And then yeah. probably die to a tilt right. soon. J1, he's got to play a bit patiently. Yeah, J1 just throwing out these attacks and hopefully just one of them will collide. Yep. And take stock. Safe attacks. Could grab a ledge with down B. Okay. And That's oh, not going to kill Yoshi. It. Strong boy. Yep, he went. Oh, for misses it. the ledge, but there was no punish. He was relying on the stars and the lucky stars. <laughs> they definitely. 200%. And the egg? Good mashing. Gets out. Wait! Oh, no. J1. Off the ledge. Yes. I think the tension just got to him. Alright, so up next we're gonna have Tyler. Tyler, another strong player. But Kaz, he is he's up there for sure. Although well, the first stock is so even. J1, he could have taken one stock off, but he failed to hit the mark. Did you see what that stage is? Go back and look at what Greg Hefley is. I dare you. Alpha wins.
wins this one, that's going to be their second smash win of the year. Burn Creek, they're looking for it. I think Burn Creek, they should win it for the uh, the winner's diversity, but Alpha, they can show that they're a very strong team this year. All right, Callous League. Just going to SD real quick, you know. 11 to 9. I feel like Burn Creek, they can close the gap. Anyways, okay, good light hit from Yoshi just right off the bat, but Tyler's Wolf, gonna get it. I remember hearing that Tyler said that this was his best character, alright, in terms of like how much fun value he has, and results. Alright, just going back and forth. He's doing a really good job maneuvering around Yoshi's attacks. But the egg? Alright, that's just gonna be like exchange between egg and laser. Uh, okay, that was looking a little bit scary there. Out of shield. Ooh! Keep in mind that in this matchup, with because of Wolf's laser, Yoshi has a very hard time approaching. So the way Tyler's playing right now seems to be a bit uh, defensive, a bit passive, and he's telling him to approach him because he knows that Yoshi does not have an easy time. Yep. Trying to right. attack a wolf. This one's another even even one. Kaz showing up though. Oh, that might be All it. Right. Oh no. Does not go beside me, which I think was pretty smart. Alright, rolls okay. away. Egg roll. I don't think that's a very good move, but Kaz, Egg you know, yeah. yeah. Gets the kill. And this Yoshi is popping off. Yeah. He's like playing hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice combo. Good string, good string. Tyler, you gotta take off. One more stock. To undo the damage that Jay Wan did. Make it a one stock deficit, which is a lot better than two. Or three, actually, if Kaz ends up winning this last stock. Or taking off even one more stock. Yeah, this is the game. I would like to watch it while playing friendlies. Alright. That armor put Yoshi in an interesting position. Doesn't get it. doesn't get the jab lock. Yeah. Not sure if he was going for the jab lock. Parry, uh, bear, air dodge. All right. No follow up on that. Yoshi's just surprisingly defensive in terms of his, uh, his passive traits. Almost getting the stock off. This is not a safe position for for Wolf. Burn Creek A. It's a very rocky start right now. He needs to get that one decisive hit. Just needs one solid there, hit. That's not going to do it yet. Kalos being a very big stage. To be honest, I think that was the best possible punish. Putting a lot of like empty hot pressure. These out of shield nair is really punishing. Oh, that spot dodge is like stressing me out. And back back here takes it. All right. In the best case scenario, it would be 9-7. to seven. And honestly, Kaz has done so much already. Yeah. And like Nick, he's also very strong, but once uh, Alpha loses their two strongest players, I think it would might be a very dangerous situation for Alpha, but only by a little bit. I mean, considering that uh, Justin and Alex are still very strong players, but just not quite of the caliber of um, Kaz and Nick. All right, that's going to be a back throw. That's going to be it? No, oh, that's not going to oh, be it. Kalos is big. big back throw is DIable. Kalos is big. Turn around. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. All right. Yoshi's hanging on to his dear life. No more extinct dinosaurs, he says. Yep. Okay, he just he actually needs one more hit. But Kaz is playing defensively, and he's oh, my. This is a scary not situation. going to... Uh, An error. Weak hit again. All right. Almost approaching 200%, just like Jaywon last time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, and no. Another SD coming in. All right. Speaking of J1, SDs. <laughs> you gotta be careful about that stuff. All right. Burn Creek in a very rough shape right now. J1 and Tyler. All right. S2 SDs. Burn Creek. I think the nerves are getting to them. Kaz is just eating through the socks. Is there winter season? Is there? When's the next season? Summer? Or winter?
Okay. I guess we have J not J1. Avery. Sorry, I was confused when J1 was playing Palutena against uh, St. Thomas More. Anyways, Alpha A. Seems like Avery has dropped his Pichu. I didn't even realize until now. It's definitely because of the patch. And honestly, I think it's for the better. Because this Palutena is like... Not many people are used to it. Palutena is just a matchup experience. If you want to understand the character, the matchup gets a lot easier. Yeah. Alright, Nair. Yoshi escapes it. I think Yoshi, like, people just aren't used to Yoshi either. They're, so, not, used to, they're not used to the uh, super armor on his jump. Yeah. He easily gets out of combos. His neutral B is sometimes great uh, command grab in case he catches it in the shield. Um, also, like, on note of like, Yoshi's perks, he's just a very uh, floaty character. He can cross up your shield. Um, and his up air is surprisingly good, but it's also because of his air mobility. That allows it to be so strong. Like that egg. Avery's trying to find his way around it. Avery just... His goal is to not lose a single stock. Kaz though... Okay, that was weird. Back. Good armor though. Back air. Oh man. This is a... This is very a hairy spot. situation. Politino's gotta stop this train, otherwise keep on rolling. I think the advantage of having Kaz is that he has a lot of experience with people that aren't in the high school scene, though. So like, he has like a bunch of outside of experience. Correct. Yeah. yeah. He goes to VSBs often. Yeah. So like, he's seen a lot. <laughs> okay. So Kaz is gonna go for another Yoshi kill. And Avery, not sure how to get in. Kaz. He's just like whipping out these options, it's working. Right now it's like a five stock deficit, so it's very dangerous for oh, for a Berkeley. Good. Oh, it doesn't match out of it. It's a good call. Alright. It takes I, a lot of damage. Berkeley's definitely panicking, and that's gonna be it though. So it's gonna be a four stock deficit. They're gonna be sending in Nick next. I think they're gonna go for the finisher. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Alpha A in a very good spot right now. This is going to be a pretty girl contest. I don't know which one's going to win. They're both very, very hot guy on a tier list, so this can go Yeah, way. and they have a very strong aerial game, so like, anything can happen. But Avery's at a deficit, even though he's got a very strong Palatine. He's against a very strong Peach. Auto rifle. Oh, they even waited for the beat drop on the music. That never got challenged. That never happens. Alright. This is a classic matchup. Historically, Nick has been doing good against Avery, but I think they're very even, actually. Although, this was before Avery switched to Palutena. Okay, Palutena putting in the work. Back right. here? Yep. Yep. Alright. Very strong. Auto radical? Uh, that's not gonna do anything. Hot shot. Alright, ooh! Oh, wow, catches him All right. Splash. Very easy first dog. Avery needs to keep this up in order to close the gap. He's doing a very nice job so far. Yep. Just staying away from Peach, doing very safe, fast pressure. And it, like, it works very well with Palutena's near heavy style. Alright, I think it might be going back to Peach. Oh, wait, never mind. Back to neutral. Alright, they're playing safe pressure. Or, say fast pressure. Okay, that was the sour spot on the peach back here. The high air speeds really complement both of these characters. So we're That's gonna a snitch. <laughs> That's a snitch. Ah. Uh, almost. Uh, almost stitches again. Almost catches him with the recovery. Yeah. Alright. This is high level play right here. They're like going fast. No breaks. Alright, Nair. Oh, what the? 
that Exte actually caught it. It extended. Or not extended, it's just really long. For air? No, that's a hurt. Alright, I think Nick is Nick has gained back his uh his ability. But up here? Whoa. Who's gone from Byron Creek? Alright. Uh, Alpha. Gotta make sure they don't lose stock, otherwise it becomes a two stock lead. Which is still good, but that's still dangerous. Back here. Grab. Alright, catching these shields right now. Good job from Avery. Alright. Avery's putting in his Palutena. That was unsafe. So, good punish for Nick. Nick, back here. Alright, Palutena. That was a very safe teleportation. Just like, find out from the teleporting, and then he's back at it. You can hear the buttons clicking from here. Alright, I think Avery, he's losing the safeness in his fast pressure. He needs to... Alright, using Palutena's tools, very good. But Peach also has a dominant aerial game. Honestly, it's about whoever dominates here more. Forward tilt. Alright, he's taking... Uh, explode. What the heck? Oh no! Spaghetti everywhere! Spaghetti... Spaghetti from my pocket. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's six four. You know the conditions I laid out. It happened. Nick SD'd, which is pretty unfortunate. But Avery, I think he might have a chance now. Two of the strongest players are down. So let's go. Uh, forgive us. We forgot to change Tyler to Avery for our last game, but yes, that was Avery. Our bad. Alright, so we're in Battlefield. Palutena, take off as many stocks as you can. Justin, he's been putting in a lot of work. Putting in a lot of work in his uh, Roy combos. And you know, but like Avery and um, Justin, their skill difference is pretty apparent from what I've seen. But anything can happen, like, see, getting a Roy combo, alright, hold the shield up, good job, good job for Palutena, Palutena, Palutena is back to putting in safe pressure, and Pitu, Pitu is just an H, he's, alright, he's getting it back. Alright, getting it back. Sorry, I'm just like multitasking, so I'm repeating lines a lot. Teleports. Does not fly into that. That would have been <laughs> pretty hairy for explosive flames. Okay, can't make it back. Good job to Avery. Avery just gotta do this two more times to bring back the lead. Burn Creek, on fire. Avery just gotta keep up that safe, fast pressure that he's always so good at with his Palatina. There's another one. Alright. And the percents are almost even again. Alright. Good job, Avery. Like. Okay, he's got to fight that last one. Good kick. Very fast option. Back air is just trying to wall out Roy. Alright. Very unsafe. Forward smash. Just speeding through. Down tilt. Okay, he's like running back and forth, dash dancing, trying to like catch him, but back here, okay, the stocks are even again. Okay, Avery just gotta keep it up, and make sure that the Roy does not know what is happening. Forward air, that's straight from the hilt, what is he gonna do? Up tilt, I think that could have been a good forward smash opportunity. Oh, dash attack, that's gonna do it. Alright, Burn Creek, they will be sending out Ares. I have never seen Ares play before in my life. So this will be very interesting to see. 
I do not know how good he is compared to the rest of his team or to Alpha. I've never played him before, so I can't comment on what I've experienced before. So this will be a very interesting experience, but if he's made it onto the A team, then I'm expecting good things. We're back! Okay, I'm solo on commentary right now, and we have Roy having to SD twice. So last year, or in the SSB4 season for this school year, we saw Ares play Captain Falcon before in Smash 4. And his most notable moment was finally taking off a single stock from, um, from a Lage, or Noah, who was- Oh my god, this guy! Almost got the knee after like two nares. All right, this is a Captain Falcon, so we're gonna see some good stuff. Okay, he's nuts. Okay, Ares, he's actually doing pretty good. All right, very, okay, forward smash. All right, it's looking very even. Ares, he's just gotta take off that one stock. Gotta get that one stock, and then he's gonna have a fairly even matchup, actually. Oh, 77 on 77. Ares on the 0.4% deficit. Doesn't really matter, but all right, he's hanging on the ledge. Back air, oh, bro. <laughs> okay, that was dangerous distance. And back air, that's gonna do it. Very quick job from Aries, as expected from Captain Falcon. And it's gonna be a three-three situation, as expected in grand finals. Stuff versus Ares are. It's gonna be a Joker versus Captain Falcon. Yeah. And Samuel's gonna be joining me in the commentary booth. So, yeah, I'm I'm actually really excited to see this. Um, as a 
As a Captain Falcon player myself, <laughs> I really don't think this matchup's good for Falcon, especially because mostly all you're doing is running in with attacks. So Joker can just down B Rebels Guard to um, yeah. just charge up our Sun, but it looks Whoa. like it looks like Ares is playing pretty good. Yeah, and this... yeah, Alpha. I don't think they know what they're really doing. Yeah, I think they're just overwhelmed by Falcon speed right now. I think this is the first Falcon I've seen all league really. Ah, maybe one more. But anyways, Ares like I remember he was in the oh, A team. That was kind of weird. Uh, he could have gotten a downer spike, especially because Falcon's recovery is very bad. Yeah. Uh, one thing that Joker's really want to do, downwards gun, that is almost unpunishable uh, against a lot of players. See, he's doing it right there. But, especially when he's off stage, try and get that or a, uh, a downer spike. Down smash? Oh. That was a very good read. Uh, I, it's yeah, like, it's I like the stock deficit is. earlier was completely erased. Grab, there. Okay, he knows his, he knows his Falcon. <laughs> Alright, this is just a roll battle right now. Alright, no gun cheese. Okay, that was a good spacing. Oh, back that was here. a nice back air. Uh, I would have gone for downer there so I could connect more, but I think he's just going for some safe options. Yep. Very nice forward air drag down there. Forward smash, just right there. Oh, this might... No need. There's a lot of confirms that Joker can be going for here. It's, uh, especially, like, drag down up air stuff, downer up smash. But, yeah, I don't know. All right. Joker should be killing a lot earlier, especially with Arsene, which we've seen him have twice already. Yeah, and, well, I mean, like, those projectiles, I'm seeing that Ares is having a lot of trouble with it. Back here, going to be taking the first stock of the Falcon, but him at 90% with, without Arsene. Uh, if he can get a good Rebellion's Guard, get some good Arsene percent in, we might be seeing a different turn of events, but right Gasp now... No. Oh my god, did he yeah, turn I don't know, but... What a reversal from initially when Kaz is like destroying Mercury Gate. Yeah, then, Alpha's kind of just I, like, losing it here. Yeah, I called it earlier, like once Kaz and Nick are here, it starts to become dangerous for Alpha. It's a very similar situation to McRoberts, where they send up their first two strongest players, but once they're gone, it's over. Yeah. So there's That's like, why I feel like Burn Creek is the best school in the league. They have three amazing players, and they still have two backup players, which are also very good. Yeah, like, as you can see right now, Ares, he's like, he does all these Captain Falcon things that an, a casual or less experienced Falcon would not be able to do. Like, the back, uh, the back airs. I don't agree with that back throw. Uh, he could have gotten a down throw conversion there, uh, gotten a lot more percent, but I think he just wants to play it safe. Yeah. Since he's in such a certain, almost insurmountable lead here. Oh, trying to get a forward smash with Arsene, not going to land it. Arsene is gone. I think this is the end for Joker. Joker has a lot of trouble killing without Arsene, especially at low per, uh, low level. Almost catches the roller. Okay. This is a 1, 2, 3 jab. Yeah, that was down a smash. nice down smash. Last stock, not even percent, though. Arsene's Alpha not down though. a lot. He's really trying to go for that read. I understand. Once you go for one, you have to go for a bunch. <laughs> okay, back throw. Oh, forward air. If he got disagree. another forward air, he can get forward throw to forward air right now to knock him off stage. Alright. Oh, downwards gun gonna be punished, not actually landing with it properly. Okay, that was very awkward. Forward zone. Oh, there! He has oh, he, Arsene. He ran into Arsene. Arsene's going. One forward smash at ledge will do it. Or back air. Oh my god! Arsene, forward smash taking it. Alpha actually proving us all wrong. That was a roller coaster. Like first you had Alpha winning, and then Burn Creek making like a comeback, and then Alpha like just clinching it again. Yeah, Alpha clutching that first set out. So we uh, will not be going straight to second set. We're going to be having a ten to fifteen minute oh, intermission. Five, 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 five. Three, three. Uh, three. We need we need it for ad breaks. <laughs> Wait. Uh, hold on. I'm just gonna turn the mic off. minutes for the next part yep, five of minutes. Alpha versus Burn Creek. Yep. Okay. So, that was something else. Alpha, they had it the whole time. <laughs> Once I saw Arsene, that was like a change in character. Because I noticed Ares, he was having a lot of trouble getting around Arsene's uh, side beat, so it was just like knocking him 
jump up into the air, making Falcon in a very uncomfortable position. But we will be back.
Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, before we get into the matches, we need to say thanks to our greatest sponsors. We want to thank Volcanic Gaming. Volcanic has been the main stepping stone for us to start getting off the ground. Sean Caldera, uh, Sean Caldera is the man who has been giving us a lot of the funding and ideas for our organization. Thank you everyone for the best first year that we could ever have. From everyone at the at VSSEA, we really appreciate you. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to be getting started with Alpha A versus Burn Creek A for Grand Finals. Hope you're excited. I am excited. So, as we've heard, we have J. Juan going up first for Burn Creek, and we're going to be seeing Kaz go up once again for Alpha. Alright, it's going to be the same game one. So, do you expect J. Juan to go with the same character? Yeah, he is. He is? Okay. So, you know, I'm really excited to see how this is actually going to play out. Without the SDs. <laughs> okay, I'm just doing some stage bands right now. I'm going to turn the mic off. Take off your shirt. Alright, unfortunately, sometimes our microphone is not very secure, so people might come in and do that. We really do not endorse it. Yeah, so, right now... Uh, yeah. So right now, in front of the commentary desk, we have our brand new MVSSEA Spring 2019 Splash Cruise Champions Trophy. Which, that was a long sentence. Unfortunately, has a minor printing error, but... You know what, it's okay. It's we still appreciate Volcanic Gaming yep. for everything they've done for us. Yep, so it's not an issue with us. So right now we're actually going to be having Kevin from Ideal Mini hopping on commentary with us. Hello there. Hi Kevin. Hi. Alright, okay. They're on Final Destination. It's yeah. really fitting. This is the event to end it all. If you don't count, the Exhibitional National will come after this. So, right now, it's back to being even again. Kaz, putting on a little bit more percent. Kaz, I think he's like figured out J1 a little bit. He's going in close. Just doing a bunch of jumping aerials. Down, so oh, down beat and through it. Yeah, one thing I can see from a lot of ultimate players in general is they like jumping out of shield and doing an aerial. Yeah. Uh, I, I was telling Avery about this before. Avery on the, uh, on the Burn Creek team. And he was telling me that in his games versus Nick, it actually really helped him. He oh, said, it's, it's a good option for sure. Yeah, it's, it's a very just, good option, but... It's just easy to punish if you have a really good read on it. Yeah. That was very nice. Catching the parry into the up tilt, Yoshi trying to confirm into more. Oh, amazing shield break. Getting revenge for shield breaking Samuel in the previous set. <laughs> oh, I bet Samuel likes that one. I don't. So... <laughs> We're going to be seeing Kaz taking the first stock, but again, this is still very even, even with a shield break at oh, yeah. relatively oh, high percent. Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, like, grab to catch the landing. That yeah. was amazing. That was a really nice parry into forward tilt. Uh, Yoshi being able to use forward tilt to ladder more in this game, uh, which he couldn't really do in the previous one. Yeah. Now forward tilt's like, 
his forward hitting ladder tilt, and like he uses up tilt for uh, up and back, like behind him. Yeah. So he can basically cover everywhere and then get some up airs out of it. Okay. It's relatively even. I mean, like. Yeah, trying to get that up tilt again to have an anti air, but actually not going to be able to hit. I, although, interestingly, like Kaz, he also likes using um, out of shield aerials. Except it really works out with Yoshi because his nair comes out so fast. Yeah, and he can drift away really far with it too. Yeah, so that's, that's the main thing. Yoshi's perfect for it. But like some characters, you oh, could. nice punish, but strange side B there. Still gonna be able to get a hit in, but J1 hitting him off stage. No punish, but good feedback to make sure he doesn't <laughs> over over commit to the um, punish. But the percents are almost even. Kaz has a nice lead right now. Nair out of shield. Trying to get something off stage to kill him. Yoshi, very powerful, but oh, up tilt gonna be yeah. taking his stock. Misspaced that backer. Jay Juan still at 118% and but gonna be dying to an up tilt to up air. up air. Percents even, but stocks aren't. Kaz up an entire stock here. Hopefully, we can see um, Burn Creek take off. Or uh, stocks off Kaz a little quickly. Wow. Not Excellent having a big uh, with, uh, up tilt. Not being too blind. Although, I guess that's she wants and nerves just kicking in right now. He's not following in as much as he was before. I can tell that, yeah, J1 is getting more nervous. His reactions aren't as good, his reads aren't as good. And he's playing a lot more defensively. Yeah. That view is very interesting. Yoshi just makes you play a lot more defensively. If you try and out if you try and box with Yoshi, he will almost always win. Yeah, and and his jump armor doesn't help. It messes up your combo sometimes. Yeah, and he has he just has really good escape options too. Like he has really good aerial drift and double jump armor, of course. I think J1 needs to capitalize on things he did in um, the previous game using the, sh the sword, which is a much longer melee range than a lot of Yoshi's attacks. So he definitely needs to use that to his advantage. Back throw, going to be sending him off stage there. Yeah. And it also doesn't help for J1 that Yoshi's very heavy. Uh, oh, almost getting a second shield break. Yikes. Yeah, oh, down air going to almost tail it off the stop. Uh, off the top, oh, sorry. He's, he's dead, far. actually. Faded away yeah, he far. faded away too far. Kaz with the repeat of the first set. 11 to 9. <laughs> this might be a 2 0 for Alpha. It really might. Alpha might take it for the second year in a row. Or second season. Yep, that's what I said. <laughs> year would imply Burnaby Mountain. Uh -huh. Which you will see after this. Yep. Yeah, Burnaby Mountain versus... This year's winner. The winner, yeah. yeah. And maybe versus HMS if we have time. <laughs> I really want to see how that would go. So, we're going to be going back for our second game. Tyler's going Pokemon Trainer. Yeah. Wait, this is the first time I've seen it in a long time. Yeah. He used to be He's been trainer. practicing Pokemon Trainer a lot lately. Yes? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's fine. Okay. Switching oh, to switching to Charizard already. Uh, Charizard can get... Some early combos, back throw to back air, actually true. Actually, at zero percent. I, I have to comment that Tyler played Charizard in Smash Four. Yeah. Yeah, and it was actually really good. Oh, trying to get the forward air, but still gonna be able to punish with double jab. Okay. Uh, fair. That's not uh, gonna do it on such a heavy dinosaur like Yoshi. Yeah. Good air dodge as well. 
goalie. There's a lot of sharking potential. Getting stuck on platforms above up air is not a good position. Yeah. Back throw. Charizard. All right. Trying to get the back air on Kaz, but just sniping him with those eggs. Oh, wow. Excellent. That's hard. Taking a page out of SCMC's book. <laughs> Charizard up, you out of shield. Shout out to Abe, by the way. That wasn't even, like, out of shield. It was just in neutral, kind of. Yeah, it was just there. Hey, good move. You know, you know what? Yeah, it's a good move. There's a reason that Pandarian says that Charizard's the best Pokemon. I Wait, he says that? Yes. Oh. And honestly, it might be true with everything we see. But Ivysaur, very close. Yeah. He's, this character is insane. Yeah, like, I still think missing both of those up airs, I'm very And then he surprised. gets one up air. Alright, so it's... Oh. I still think Ivysaur is like the best out of Pokemon for sure, but the gap between them is not as Ugh. big as people think. Yeah, that was a really nice frame trap there from Kaz. Yeah, like, you couldn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry if you noticed that we forgot to change the name, but... We're back. Yeah. Tyler wants to take the stock as soon as possible. Yeah, so. Oh, trying oh, to And the oh, up wow. is okay. going to take it. Tyler taking the stock off of Kaz. One it's, stock lost. It is looking hotter this time. <laughs> Screaming for Abe. SCMC win! Hi, Abe. If you're watching this, Tyler's repping you, man. So yeah, I wonder what stage you're going to be going to, because Tyler is locked into Pokemon Trainer against Nyx, Peach, or Daisy. Same character. Yeah. You know, man, my heart can't handle either. It's okay. I assume he wants less platforms to avoid Ivysaur's big up air. Just but, do, but also, it'd be very easy to juggle him, which is the problem. I think Pokemon Trainer doesn't really have a stage they're bad on. Because there's three characters. Yeah, for sure. They all have their own strengths, and, you know. And actually, well with each other. Maybe like choosing a stages. strange character. Peach instead of Daisy. Yeah, that, that's a counter pick for sure. Alright. Tyler actually has Peach matchup experience from all the friendlies that he's played against Nick. Side to be, it seems like he's going to be starting Squirtle, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, looks he like is. it. Squirtle is typically the low percent pick. Oh, getting a Dot Eyes off the start, not actually going to be able to hit. Dot Eyes doing more percent than the regular yeah. turnip, but, you know. I believe they do like 16 or so. Yeah. Oh, very good Squirtle combo right off the bat. 40%. Yeah. Squirtle small size. Okay, get back. Back air. air, trying to get a double back air, but not going to land. I think he missed, Nick misinputted that back air and came out as a four mm, Good dash chance from Tyler. Now, this is prime Ivysaur up air percent. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, trying to get a forward tilt. That All move right. isn't good, though, so I'm not sure why. Okay, there it goes. This is the... Oh, oh forward Tyler tilt. Character. Sweet spot. That was really nice spacing there. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, good double jump. Okay. Yeah, Fire I think Peach is almost dead trading with that side V. But, oh, oh he no. almost got that. Yeah, I think forward tilt would have hit there. These Charizard empty hops are, like, driving me insane. Trying to get another uppy. I think yeah. he's fishing for it too much right now. Yeah. We might be able to see. Uh, a I think that's it. Oh, yeah. missed the platform. Oh, yeah, I don't know I if that was going to go on the platform. If he... One thing that I don't like that Tyler's doing right now is whenever he has a chance to hard punish something, he can use flare bullets. He really can. He can, but maybe he probably thinks it's just too risky. Yeah. Oh, like uh, that. We've been yeah. seeing Pandarian do that a lot. Uh, he's kind of figured out Charizard. I can't hear us this speaker. What? Wow. And that... that's going to kill Burn yeah. Creek taking their first stock <laughs> off of Nick. 8 to 7, keeping it close. With a down throw, too. Alright, Tyler at least has to take off one more stock, so Avery can just finish off it. Okay. Back air. Abusing Squirtle's small stature. Mm -hmm. But Squirtle dies early, and in fact, he can die right now. <laughs> yeah, like if he just gets off one well place. Um, slab. That was a very nice yeah. switch, but 
I he's a good percent to switch to Ivysaur. Yeah, I really think he should be switching to Charizard right now because he is at very high percent. Yeah. <laughs> I think he wants Ivysaur's earlier kill confirms at around mid percents. Alright. And he has Rage right now, so that down throw up uh, goes surprisingly early. Uh, yes. One other thing that a lot of players don't know Ooh, how to deal oh, with wow. is uh, on ledge, when you have somebody off Dagger. ledge as Ivysaur, if you charge forward smash, oh, it, it covers cool. most options. And, yeah. oh and it pulls my. back after. Yeah. So it's really hard to play. Oh yeah. my god, that yikes. Okay, oh, and throw. back you're not gonna be uh, back throw not killing yet. Yeah. That move getting heavily nerfed. Okay. A lot of things will go from Charizard right now. Okay, I think Tyler's a little bit scared right now. Maybe gonna need a bit more percent before Dash uh, attack throws become like a serious threat. Ooh! Oh! oh! That's Bro! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I saw that coming up. Really mind. nice read from Nick there, coming out. Tyler being able to take one stock off of Nick and putting him at very high percent. Yep. And Avery's gonna be up next. This is Deja Vu all over. It's all over again. Uh, except the stock gap is a lot smaller this time. We'll see what Avery can You know do. what? I really want to see Burn Creek take this second set so we can see a heart wrencher. Yeah. On a third. Me too. Okay, they're just handling their controllers right now. And for some reason, Chad is talking about RuneScape even though we're playing Smash Ultimate. Oh well. stage. This is a classic Avery versus Nick matchup. Congratulations to Avery for taking one stock already. Stealing Tyler's credit. <laughs> it's not like that joke has been made every single time. That joke steals credit, man. Okay, yeah. Are we gonna see more of Avery's safe, fast pressure? That trademark. Oh, oh that's a bomb! Bro, that's dangerous. <laughs> Nick's RNG has already been coming into play. Dot eyes yeah. and a bomb already. Alright. Auto reticle, keeping Keach away. That was a really safe option. Very good explosive play from yeah. here. Oh, okay. trying to get a really yeah. good draw yeah. trapping him right now. These platforms are help, helping him a lot. Uh, right. One thing I could see that Palutena should be doing more is trying to cover Peach's aerial landings with up smash because it's such. What a another one? Oh my God! Yeah. What the? <laughs> what? I'm angry. <laughs> I know this goes without saying, but clip that. <laughs> oh, Alright, back to the match. I'm sure. Yeah. If you couldn't tell, Sakurai is Nick's dad. <laughs> I'm utterly shook. Nair, last hit Nair gonna be able to kill off the top. You don't see that too often. Yeah. Uh, it does become really reliable at killing. You're like 150 though. Alpha A is something else right now. Alright, just take off that one stuff. Oh, down air to up air. I mean, down tilt, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, yeah, like solid percent okay, right now, gets, and get count gets countered. Yeah. Got a bit too greedy for that, I guess. Okay. Very nice nair conversion. A dot eyes! Oh my God. That's three turnip goals that are really good in this game already. Okay. I think turnip is carrying uh, alpha right now. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Four air, almost taking it. That would have taken it in the previous you know what patch. They say, Nick, Nick is carried by RNG. It's true. <laughs> Up oh, smash, yeah. almost I taking it. That was really close, but. Yeah, I just turned it, but that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, 152, really dangerous for Peach. He oh, has a okay. lot of kill options. This is a. I feel like Avery doesn't remember that Palutena has a counter. 
that also is a reflect. Are we gonna see another yeah. Deja Vu it's, situation? It's not like it's not a good counter, but it's still a counter. Up air, another. Oh, almost catches him with that. Oh my god, we already got a clip. <laughs> Back here. All right, good catch. With, explosive uh, flame. flame. Why does explosive flame always hit? Like, ah. Oh, down tilt, trying to. Oh, oh my god. gosh, that was so cool. He went very deep, though, so I was worried. Isn't this supposed to be a random, like, word? And back are gonna take it. It's gonna be a deja vu situation. 6 4. Nick just lost. Avery is up on Palutena. And if they call him Justin Nice, I'm gonna cry a bit. Hey! Alpha should send up another Peach so they can get more bugs. Yeah. <laughs> send him to Game and Watch. Oh, game. My oh my lord. Alright, they're sending it just. This is actually a rerun of last game. <laughs> yeah, 6 4. Right now, again, unlike Burn Creek and very similar to McRoberts, once the two best alpha players are gone, it's going to be a lot more difficult for Burn Creek to take this out. Oh, wait. Uh, you mean alpha? That's what I said. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a big Robert situation. Burn Creek, they have the consistency, but they also burnt out to their last very like probably S tier relative to the rest of the players. Yeah, but the others are a solid A. And I would say Justin and Alex are also in the A range, so it could be anybody's game. Now it's up to see if Justin is learning to left. No good All right. It's time to see if Justin can learn from last game. Yeah. See if he can um, get used to Avery's fast playstyle. Uh, I'm gonna start. All right. All right. First hit's gonna go to Avery, but then Roy gets the chain on. All right. Nice forty percent right off the bat. Is this gonna be? Super fast, just end of the game. Oh, oh okay, that was good. Okay, regular was dancing crash. blade might have actually just taken it there. Just uh, learning, just yeah. Or maybe Avery just like just doesn't. We can see that Avery. He started jumping out of shield every single time again. He isn't thinking about it. <laughs> that okay. I thought he was that too framed it. almost. Jump out of shield. Good nerd. Just covers like the. Oh, okay. nice grab. He makes it up. Okay, there's... Oh, yep. There we go. Uh, he should still be fine, unless he gets two framed again. Oh. Wait, why is it... Okay. That's not gonna yeah. do that. Uh, I suggest Avery goes for a quick dash attack as a panic option, but, you know... <sighs> oh, drag oh. down with Nair, oh, but... Oh, but okay. the stock still went away, so... Yeah, so he still <laughs> traded the stock. I don't think that's a good trade, Burn though. They Creek. were behind... Spring Creek now has to take five stocks with yeah. only three. Miguel, pressure's on. <laughs> uh, I believe in you, Miguel. Look cool, but I don't think that was a good trade. You don't, you don't want to be trading when you're behind. Yeah, you no want to be on. making leads. Alpha in a very good spot, even though a lot of these players, a lot of these teams in general, really don't consider the fact that they should have an anchor at the end. They're always sending up their best players at the start and yeah, having their yeah. worst. Well, I guess their worst at the end. Like, well, relatively speaking, yeah. Yeah. But, hey. I prefer the sandwich method. Where, like, the strongest two are on the opposite ends. Yeah. And, like, the weaker ones are just there to pick off the weaker ones on the other side. But here we go. One more win for Alpha, and then they take it. Yep. And then we'll have an intermission before the next. Like 15 minutes or 30. They've just got to take out and go. Yeah. Two players, they should be able to do it, but we'll see how he does. Okay. Yep. Very strong combos from Justin right now. Yeah. Inkling in a pretty bad spot. Justin, I think he's evolved from last time. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of Pokemon Stadium, actually. Yeah, actually, Justin is playing like one of oh, Alpha's that's, best that's players. Pretty, okay. 
weak forward smash gonna be taking that? That did not feel weak. weak. That, that was a mid forward smash. I felt the brunt of that hill. Oh wow, okay. There he is. <laughs> Chab clanks with that forward smash. Man, I love clanks. Okay. Another forward smash. Yeah, Mago's really gotta figure something out. Yeah, he's just getting rushed down right now. I think he's just like under too much pressure right now. But he's like managed to get that off. Bomb counter. Ugh. Oh, wow. This is not looking hot. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about Brink Creek's chances here. Yeah. They were projected to have a very even match, but it actually might be a bit stronger of a showing than expected. Yeah, even if he takes out Justin right now, they've still got another player left. Yeah. And his name is either Alex or Nicholas. Yeah. Either way. Both very opponents. strong players. Yeah. That was a good uh, crouch or whatever Inkling was doing. Crouch attack. Oh, wow, cool. okay. Alright, Inkling, you have to take a stop off right now. Yeah, this is really dangerous yeah, this for is Inkling. Back here. Roy does a lot of knockback. And that was like hilt here, so. Gotta finish oh, trying this to get another Nair confirmed, but Roy would actually turn out. Yeah. Well, oh, good parry. Good parry. Oh. But did not get anything out of it. Uh, another. Oh! Oh, okay. Weak up tilt. Yeah, should have waited a bit more. Or gone for up smash. <laughs> oh man, this is so close, and they're hardly hitting each other right now. Alright, I just have no words for this. Right now, you can't hear it probably, but Lady on team is playing. And you. Alright. Uh, okay. Four tilt. Justin is yeah, still not one losing stop a stock left. yet. Justin's like, he's Justin's got, playing really well. He's got those Roy fires. I don't know if Miguel's gonna be able to take okay. Okay. four more stocks with just one. Yeah. Fortunately, the percent will reset if you manage to take down Roy. Good thing is, I believe in miracles. Me too. Me too. Anything can happen. But like, if Joker is next, got it. Actually, Back. Yeah, I think, I think I really, he's looking like he's gonna take the stock. I don't agree like with his forward throws, but he could definitely get more more damage off of some combo throws. He most likely just wants to ink on. Oh no! And also, Inkling really isn't using splatter shot that much. One of the best moves in the game. Which yeah, uh, the, the neutral reason. beat. Yeah. Oh, the neutral beat. Yeah, I'm I think he's just a bit scared of Roy's rush down. Yeah, not a lot of ink on Roy. Just you on. And that's gonna be it. Gonna oh, it. They took it. <laughs> Nick just fucking died. Nick died. Nick died. Yeah, Nick died. Nick, Nick oh, he was just like he just like flew into the ground. And Alpha that's wins again. To... Alpha takes it for the second time. Yup. Alpha is the spring 2019. <laughs> All right, congratulations, to Alpha. Yeah. So everybody here at the MBSSEA would like to congratulate Alpha for an amazing showing. Yeah, yep. and the most consistent and powerful team in Smash. Yep. And Burr Creek, you guys put up a pretty good fight, taking yep. them to one stock last time. You guys still got second place, but Alpha just showing their dominance through. Next year, we're going to see players like Kaz leave and um, Tyler, so there's going to be some yeah, changes. It's really yeah. going to shake it up. It's, it's going to be pretty up. interesting. And like, I've seen some other schools just being like built up. Like, very interested to see how that's going to happen. And hey, next year, we might even see Ouch in the contention. Maybe, yeah. And by so, then, I don't know if Alpha will be take, able to take them down. But, like, what a good league. So, that's it for our first year. Yeah. Hey, it's been an amazing year so far. And stay tuned, since we still have Smash Ultimate singles going on. And awesome. our esteemed Rock, Paper, Scissors League. <laughs> And, well, immediately speaking, we're just, we're going to have the Burnaby Mountain uh, 2018. Yeah, we will be having yeah, the exhibition. Burnaby Mountain exhibition. You guys know. Why? Just an idea. Why? The RPS League, this is the announcement right now. The RPS League will have a $25 pot bonus <laughs> from me, and it will be at the TGS Grand Opening June 28th. So make sure to grab your tickets. Okay. Alright. I'm Carson. That was Samuel. And, and I'm Kevin.
Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting us, and let's hope for a great new year. Actually, we're not completely done. We still have the Burning Mountain one, but we'll be back. All right, see ya.